All right, let's talk about backups. So data backups, that's the process of creating copies of data to ensure its availability and recovery in the event of a data loss, system failure, or other unforeseen circumstance. All right, so there are three different backup types that you need to know for the CPA exam. offer different benefits in terms of storage space usage, backup speed, recovery. So we're going to go through all three, talk about the pros and cons, and then finish off with talking strategy. All right, so first off, full backup. So a full backup involves copying all data from a source system or device to a backup location. So the full replica, full complete replica of an entire data set, including the files, the folders, the system configurations. So full backups are obviously the most comprehensive coverage. And they simplify the restoration process because all the data is available in one place. However, because it is so comprehensive, full backups can be time consuming and resource intensive, especially for large data sets, and they often require more storage space. So as a result, full backups are usually suitable for initial backups or critical data backups, where that's just the copies of the most important or sensitive data within the organization also periodic backup strategies. We're going to talk about strategies here at the end. Okay, so that's full backup. Now let's talk about incremental backups. So an incremental backup captures only the changes made since the last backup. So think incremental, think changes. Just the changes made since the last backup. So it saves storage space by only copying new or modified files, resulting in faster backup times and reduced network bandwidth requirements. So it's an efficient solution for frequent backup because they focus on capturing the latest changes. However, it's complex when you restore because you got to restore the latest full backup followed by each subsequent incremental backup in chronological order. Incremental backups comes with complexity, but it's also faster. Differential backups is our third type of backup. Differential backups capture changes relative to the last full backup. So each differential backup grows in size because it's, you know, on Monday, it's only looking at the changes since the last full backup on Sunday. And then on Tuesday, it's Monday and Tuesday. On Wednesday, it's Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, etc. So it's growing in size each differential backup. Recovery, though, is simpler compared to incremental backups because it's only the last full backup plus the last differential backup. Storage requirements increase over time, of course, though, because each backup grows. All right, so here's a chart that compares full, incremental, and differential. So again, full, each time you back up, you're looking at all data. Incremental, you look at changes from backup number one, then changes from backup number two, then changes from backup number three. But differential is only looking at changes from one because that was the last full backup. All right, so how do you decide which backup strategy to use? Well, first, is the recovery time objective. Again, this is the maximum tolerable downtime before data must be restored. So if you have a very short recovery time objective, then you're looking at a full backup because that's your fastest recovery backup time. Whereas incremental and differential may require more restoration because not only are you processing multiple backups, but in the case of incremental backups, you also have to make sure that it's in chronological order. Recovery point objective is the amount of data loss measured in time. So full backups offer the smallest RPO since they capture the entire data set, whereas incremental and differential may introduce some data loss since they rely on the last full backup. So if for some reason incremental or the differential doesn't capture everything, then you're kind of up a creek, you have some data loss. So that's RTO and RPO. Next, we're looking at storage requirements. So obviously full backups, more storage space compared to incremental and differential. Differential grows in size with each backup. Incremental, it just depends on the amount of changes for that incremental backup. Okay, and then also complexity. So full backups are simple. You just restore the full backup. Incremental and differential may require sequential restoration of backups. So obviously incremental is the most complex and time consuming followed by differential. All right, so what are the strategies? Well, often you have based off of your storage space, your need for 
fast recovery, all of these considerations, you pick one of these strategies. So backup strategy number one is full daily. So at the end of every day, you do a full backup. And this is often the case if you have a small data set or maybe if that data set is critical. And then when you recover from this, you just go back to the last full backup. Strategy number two is if you do a full weekly, let's say every Sunday or something along those lines, and then you do a differential daily. For recovery then, you just look at your last full and then you add on that last differential, right? So if we have an outage on Friday, then we do our last full, that was Sunday, and then our differential is captured Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Okay, and then finally, third backup strategy is full weekly plus incremental daily. So to do this, you look at your last full plus all incrementals. So in the example of Friday, we would pull our last full backup, that's through Sunday, and then we would pull the Monday incremental, the Tuesday incremental, the Wednesday incremental, the Thursday incremental, the Friday incremental. All right, so those are backup strategies. Those are the considerations of backup strategies. Let's keep moving.